Hola comunidad Mexo, estamos acá para presentarles un nuevo proyecto que de seguro les va a encantar, es Ocam Finance, así que hoy vamos a aprender todo, todo lo que tiene que ver con este proyecto y que muy pronto va a estar enlistado en Mexo. Así que presten muchísima atención. Y para esto eh, tenemos aquí a Elliot. Eh, Elliot nos va a presentar el proyecto, nos va a dar como un vistazo general por qué se diferencia de otros proyectos y cómo nos puede ayudar a nosotros como comunidad. Así que démosle la bienvenida a Elliot. Hi Elliot, how are you doing? Hi Laura, thanks for having me on today and uh, it's great to talk to the Mexo community. Uh, apologies that I can't speak in Spanish, but I hope that this is going to be informative anyway. Uh, it's, it's okay, no worries. Our community, let's see, I, I, I would like to think that we are learning English together. <laughs> so, I'm sure... Um... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your uh, English is better than my Spanish, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, Elliot. So I already told our community that you are here to introduce us to the Ocam Finance Project. So could you please, um, well, tell us the story. How did this uh, project started? And uh, yeah. Sure, yeah. So probably our story begins firstly with the Cardano blockchain. Uh, so Cardano is a um, is a third generation blockchain protocol. Um, you could say that it roughly competes or has the same sort of uh, goal as Ethereum in that it will function as a smart contracts platform. Although it's uh, very much founded on philosophies of uh, you know academia, um, engineering, formal methods, um, and it's a really really well built blockchain protocol. Um, mm -hmm. And it's right at the point now where it's about to have an explosion of interest. Um, smart contracts will come live in September through the Alonso hard fork. Um, We're all looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, and that's where Occam sort of steps in. Um, so we're a DeFi platform and uh, IDEO Launchpad, which stands for Initial Decentralized Offering. Um, so the next generation of projects, DApps, um, DeFi protocols, that want a list on Cardano, but perhaps need access to funding to get started, to grow their developer team. Uh, they can come through Occam Razor, which is our Launchpad, and they can uh, do capital raises, um, host IDOs and also have access to our partnerships within the Cardano ecosystem and beyond. Um, so we're really a full stack solution for these early companies and early projects and entrepreneurs that are building on Cardano. Okay. Well, that sounds lovely. Just let me give uh, like a small brief to our Spanish community. Chicos, si ustedes están en el ecosistema y les interesa mucho todo el tema DeFi, creo que realmente tienen que checar este proyecto. Eh, así como lo, lo, lo escucharon y de pronto ya lo pueden haber visto en los subtítulos, pero eh, ven que Ocam está basado en Cardano, que ya, bueno, de pronto de Cardano conocemos bastante y que ahorita en septiembre va a sacar eh, sus smart contracts sobre la actualización Alonso. Así que, eh, bueno, todo esto que nos está contando Elliot es súper interesante y prosigamos. So, thank you, thank you so much, Elliot, for telling us that. Um, also, I would like to know, uh, like, if you were to tell the mission and the vision of Ocam Finance, what would that be? What would that be? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good question. So, um, I mean, Occam's Razor, the principle of Occam's Razor is that the simplest solution um, is usually the best. And we want to be the simplest solution for projects launching on Cardano and also a way to support them, um, not just with their initial raise, but also with their development milestones. So our mission is pretty much aligned with the mission of Cardano and that is to to grow the Cardano ecosystem and to make it one of the leading blockchains and we probably see that Cardano has got um, so much to offer um, and we really think that it could be you know the leading smart contracts platform in the future so our mission is to help it get there and to help it grow. Wow that is super bold because uh, I've heard before that, Carga that Cardano Uh, or Cardano haters, I are always saying that Cardano does not have the smart contracts. But it's, I think it's really a bold statement to say that uh, it's going to become the leader of uh, smart contracts, which will be a really, really nice thing for Cardano, because I think that's pretty much what they are missing uh, to become the leaders, 
right? So. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, um, it's been in development a long time, but what Cardinal Now have done is build correctly from the start. So the smart contracts will be more secure. Uh, the tokens that have been built on top of Cardano right now, because you can already launch a token on Cardano, yeah. um, they're arguably more secure than Ethereum-based tokens because they don't need smart contracts to run. So there's a lot of benefits. So it, it took a little bit longer, but then the end product is is promising to be a really flourishing ecosystem of, of decentralized applications. Yeah, yeah, I totally, I totally agree with you. Uh, and also, well, like going back to uh, to Oakham, what will you say that are the main characteristics for a customer like me uh, that it could attract me to Oakham Finance? Yeah, so maybe we should talk a little bit about our OCC token. So the OCC token is our ecosystem token. Um, in the future, we're going to be much more than just a launch pad. We're also going to have a DEX um, called OkamX. We've already released the white paper for that. And the OCC token will play a pivotal role in that ecosystem too. But at the moment, having a, a you know holding in a OCC um, is a requirement to access the IDOs that launch on our platform. So you have to stake a, a certain balance of OCC in order to register and participate in the IDO sales on Occam Razor platform. So essentially, you get early access to some of the most promising projects on Cardano. So you can see a few of them behind me, actually, in my uh, background. So we had uh, Iagon's IDO yesterday that completed um, that concluded successfully. It was a really great raise. Uh, sold out in a few hours. Um, so our token holders, um, depending on what tier they were in, had the opportunity to, to buy into that. And uh, we have a few more coming up, like Card Wallet, Ledger T, Theos, uh, Mobius Network, and about six others in the pipeline that um, that we're eager to to announce. So basically, I would say that the benefit for token holders is that you get early access to you know, some of the most promising projects on Cardano. And we really vet these projects and make sure that they are you know, building with, with the correct uh, infrastructure, um, that they have audits in place, and that they're really building for the benefit of the Cardano ecosystem. That is amazing. I actually really like that, what you guys are doing. So speaking of that, uh, and also that you mentioned that soon, well, you released a white paper for your DEX. Uh, when do you think that DEX is going to be uh, like ready? That's a good question. Yeah, so we've already started building out the components. Obviously, as I mentioned, just uh, when we started, the uh, Alonzo hard fork will make smart contracts available on Cardano. Okay. But what a lot of people don't know is that um, the Plutus Pioneer program is actually already started, and that's, um, that helps developers start right start writing the um, plutus smart contracts and um, so we're already there in the plutus um the plutus pioneer program our developers are already developing the smart contracts for the decks ready to deploy on cardano and um, so it doesn't make much sense for us to deploy um you know uh fully for fully on ethereum uh, we want to look for a, a dual launch you know to have an ethereum and a cardano decks at the same time um, so these components are already being written. So hopefully we'll have more update on that quite soon. Oh, wow. That's that's something uh, that we really need to look forward as a community because I think that's going to be super big. Uh, okay, so that's, that's amazing. And um, also I would like to know since our community, Mexos community, is based in Latin America, we are mainly in Mexico, but we are expanding, expanding to other countries. Um, like, what are you looking to find? Yeah, if that's that's correct, uh, to find here in Latin America and in this community. So one of the uh, one of the like founding principles of Cardano, and then by extension, something that we strongly believe in is financial empowerment and giving the decentralized tools to to individuals to take their financial sovereignty into their own hands. Um, so we really like those concepts and we think that that could be really important in Latin America. Um, it's always been a focus for us. We have two Latin American uh, community managers who are super dedicated, core part of our team. We have Leander, who's from uh, Cuba. Um, so he's a native Spanish speaker. Um, and we also have Tiago, our community lead, actually, um, who is from Brazil. Brazil. Um, 
so yeah we're really like uh we have a really strong focus on on latin america and mexo is going to be the first significant exchange in latin america that we've listed on so we're really excited to see what we can do here um and we think that our presence can only grow in the future um and hopefully yeah we can provide some of the decentralized tools that will allow like your users and other users to get into DeFi and, and crypto especially for cardano okay so uh, yeah, absolutely, I, I agree with that, and I think this partnership with Mexo uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be good in terms of like um, expanding this financial empowerment as you mentioned before. I think that is something that Latin America is always looking for. But uh, and I think that crypto and solutions like yours uh, are great tools to to achieve that. Um, I think Elliot, I don't know if you have, uh, or if you want to say something to our community, uh, the guys that are listening to you right now. Yeah, sure. So um, probably some of the upcoming milestones we have, we're going to have some, um, some more announcements coming up shortly about our alignment with the official Cardano entities. Um, so look out for that. We're also going to have some announcements about uh, our involvement in community-led hackathons. So one of those is Ada Maker Space, uh, where there's going to be challenges available. So if any of the community, the Mexo community are developers, do keep an eye out for that. There's going to be funds available for hackathon winners, um, and we'll announce the details of that next week. Uh, so we're really excited. And yeah, if you want to earn some, some funds uh, and help grow the Cardano ecosystem, uh, do join in on that hackathon. Well, yeah, yeah, I think this is, oh, I think our community is going to love this because they all love challenges, hackathons, like everything that is like really dynamic, they love it. So I, I, I'm i pretty sure for our community, this is a great opportunity. So let me translate a little bit of this. Um, Chicos, ya, ya lo escucharon, eh, tenemos que estar súper pendientes de todos los anuncios que vaya a ser UCAM de aquí en el futuro, como lo escucharon, hay hackatones, hay varios concursos, uh, hay maneras de aprender, así que si ustedes nos están escuchando, por acá hay desarrolladores o hay personas que quieran desarrollar su proyecto, acá con UCAM tienen una muy, muy buena oportunidad y bueno, qué mejor de que ya tenemos aquí a la persona que nos puede guiar. Ok, eh... I think Elliot, this is very, very exciting for our, for our community. And we are looking forward to, of course, listing uh, your token, but also to see all the milestones and all the success that you are going to have in the future. Um, I'm really happy that you had, like you get provide us this time to talk, to chat with you. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Laura. It's been great. And uh, thank you everyone at the Mexo community for, um, for having me on today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are going to react to this. So thank you very much, Elliot, for your time. Thank you.